First of all, here at TFT, we believe target fire flows, if you've ever attended any of our classes, is probably one of the key important factors that we try to start with before any sort of a nozzle evaluation can happen. Uh, this is why we, we tend to spend a lot of time with things like this slide chart. Uh, the slide chart basically helps us, I guess, draw sort of a line in the sand when we're having a discussion about a nozzle evaluation, saying, look, First and foremost, before you do anything else, we have to come up with target fire flows. I don't care if it's a smooth bore, a low pressure nozzle, a combination nozzle, or anything else, unless we have target fire flows, we're missing a key component of what a nozzle evaluation is all about. So we're going to kind of frame this exactly the same way. Uh, if you've never used one of these slide charts, it basically is taking the National Fire Academy formula and putting it in a little different way and saying, look, if you go into a, a room and contents fire, it's fully involved, there's enough BTUs being generated in that fire space that you have to add so many gallons per minute to absorb the heat. If you don't do that, as we all know about the fire tetrahedron, the fire is not going to go out. So what we're trying to do here is saying, look, Fire flows are the most important thing. Now we can argue about smooth bores and low pressure nozzles and fog patterns, pistol grips, colored labels and all these other things later, but first and foremost, it's about making sure that the crew when they go in the front door has the needed fire flow, that target fire flow that your organization has determined. Now, at our fire department, 150, 175 gallons per minute for that first attack fire crew is what we believe is adequate for a lot of these room and content type fires. So in the past, how do you know that you have that? Well, without prefiguring and having engine pressures, you know, and maybe labels and stickers and laminated pieces at the pump panel and stuff, you really don't know, even by prefiguring using this. So several years ago, we came out with the electronic show flow, and it was a pretty straightforward idea. It was a, uh, a flow indicator that you would put in line and say, okay, wow, this, uh, I, my pressure is this, my flow is this at this moment. Our original thought was that this would be something that would be used behind a handheld nozzle and that you could look down and you'd know at any point during the fire when you were flowing what your pressure and what your flow were. Well, over time what we have found happened with the electronic version of the show flow is it's used extensively in training, both the inch and a half and two and a half inch versions, but it never really made it never made it to where we wanted it to be, which was behind and under the arm of the nozzle operator with that first in crew, that initial attack crew, where knowing your flow is such a critical element. Well, today we found that with show flow and visibly you've got smoke, you have your CBA on, you've got a bunch of other stuff going on, you'd never look down. So we thought, well, we'll put an audible chip in it that would give you some audible indication that you have flow either through a woman's voice, which we had in at one point, or a buzz or something like that. The problem with that is with a CBA on and pass alerts and radio traffic, and you're trying to listen to the fire and the conditions around you in the first place, audible was not the answer. So this, we decided, is great as a training tool, and uh, it's been used extensively for that, but it really doesn't meet the need of what we were trying to do for that initial attack fire crew. So today we came up with the V-Flow. Any of you that have a cellular phone understand that when you put it on, you know, when you take the sound away from it, it immediately goes to what? It goes to a vibrate mode. And you can have it in your pocket, you can feel it on your hip, you know immediately you've either got a text message, a, an email message, or a phone call from somebody, and you know just because of the vibration and you can feel it. Well, that's what the V-Flow is about. It's taken all the electronics away from it, uh, it's taken the technology uh, to a little bit different level here. We're doing it mechanically with the use of a spring and a little vibration on the inside that's created with this turbine. So as you can see, it's very, very small as compared with the other. It's, it's just a little bit smaller, lighter, uh, and fits very, very nicely on the rear end of a nozzle. The idea here, you know, and this is what we want to get across, we believe one of these is going to end up on the end of every initial attack hand line everything that's going in the door. So that minute before you enter into the fire space, when you open that line up and the line is charged just before you go in and you know that you have your target fire flow, you'll feel it. Not only will the nozzle operator feel it, but the person right behind on the hose line will feel it as well. There'll be a marked vibration in that hose line that you've achieved your minimum fire flow. Doesn't mean it can't be more, but you've got that minimum. So in our case, on our department, if we've set it at 150 gallons a minute, you know when that line is fully open, you can feel it that you have your target fire flow. Now realize I haven't said anything about smooth bore, combination nozzle, low pressure nozzle. We're strictly talking about needed fire flow when you go into that fire space. So now it will vibrate. Now as you gate it down, you have less flow. 
stop to vibrate. The second you open it back up again, you'll feel the vibration. You know, hey, you have your targeted minimum fire flow. So that's the concept behind the new V-Flow. We look at this as just as important a tool as looking down at your SCBA and you have the, you know, you can, you can tell very quickly that your pass alert device is working. You can tell very quickly the SCBA bottle, how full it is and how much time you have left. We believe this is just as critical a safety element as what you have on your SCBA anymore to know what your target fire flow is.